and the next day we're taken to Kim Il-sung University, named after the current leader's grandfather. The performances are a display of loyalty to the Kim family dynasty. This number, young people be loyal to our party. I had a good schooling, we had public libraries. Sir Richard Roberts is answering questions from students whose English is impressively fluent. My question is, when was the happiest time of your life as a scientist? <laughs> Very personal question. He feels free to speak his mind. Kids need to be creative. They need to do their own thing. Shouldn't listen to the adults too much. The adults often don't know what is best for you. Very often. You but how free the are these students to think for themselves? I think outside the DPRK, we think that it's very restricted what you're able to read. For example, science journals, science and nature, and access to the internet. So I'm just curious, what's it like? We have free access to read all the books, almost all the books from the outside world. And well, you have access to the internet. We have many chances to get to the internet. And you can read, uh, you can go on Google and you can look up things oh, in yes, English? Oh, yes, Google, yeah, right. Next door is the university's shiny new computer lab. Twelve years ago, there was no internet here. So what can they access now? So can we put in uh, bbc.co.uk? The excuses begin immediately. So this one's busy? Yes, yeah. yeah. So there's, there's another one we can look at? Yes, OK. OK, we're going to look at this one. What, what, what subject are you studying? Uh, I'm, I'm learning computer technology. Computer technology. Yes. If anybody knows how to use the internet, this guy should. Uh, we, 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 never, we never use the internet because uh, our, our, our university homepage, homepage uh, intro... Uh, yeah, intranet. 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 Yes. intranet. Yes, intranet. All the, all the information we need. The other students try to connect, but they cannot find the server. Ah, so the server is not working. But the minders insist the system is just temporarily down. Maybe busy. Yeah, uh, maybe Internet busy. Explorer? What Explorer is it? Across the room, Sir Richard Roberts is asking the same question. I'm just trying to find out, you know, how accessible mm -hmm. stuff is. Because if you're a scientist, these days, if you don't have access to the Internet, you're dead. If these students do have access to the Internet, then it is very tightly controlled. What I'm concerned about is that they can't be honest about the fact that they only have limited access. For them to pretend that, you know, really they do have complete access, it, it's silly. 